Hello all my subscribers. So uh, as promised, I'm doing an update on my poster and action figure collection, along with some other new additions like my uh, statues. So uh, yeah, um, just uh, thought I'd get on that. Just um, waiting for uh, the Top Gun dual reveal to finish processing. So that should be uploaded here pretty soon. So you can have a good slate of uh, videos to watch. So anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on in on this. So to start off, an old favorite, my Goodfellas poster, though it is a little blocked by the refrigerator after moving some stuff around, you can still see the bulk of it. But uh, yeah, with uh, Ray Liotta's recent passing, RIP, um, yeah, it, this is definitely pretty awesome and I'm always gonna keep this around and in good shape no matter where I live. But uh, yeah, definitely real nice. Like how it also shows what goes down in the uh, <laughs> mafia world. Oh, and I guess Judy wants to join in on the video. Hi, Judy. Gosh, Judy really likes to be a part of the videos today. <laughs> you sure are a very uh, photo and videogenic kitty. You know that? <laughs> anyway, um, after that, uh, here's my Saving Private Ryan poster. I uh, got it. Hold on, let me turn on the light so you can see it a little better. Um, so, uh, yeah, Saving Private Ryan, my favorite war film of all time. And um, solid cast, Matt Damon, Tom Hanks, Edward Burns, Tom Sizemore. Definitely uh, put together a really great cast right there and definitely up there among my favorite Steven Spielberg movies <clears throat> But uh, yeah, also right by my my uh, Copy of the Declaration of Independence as I'm related to one of the signers John Morton. So yeah And uh, the Daniel Craig era of James Bond has had a mixed uh, rap of posters Gotta say the, cl the classics like from Lazenby, Connery Probably up to Dalton, probably had the best posters because they were actually hand-painted. Brosnan started the Photoshop ones like these. But out of all of them, this one and No Time to Die have some pretty cool ones. I couldn't get one for No Time to Die, so I decided to get this one of Skyfall of uh, Bond in the gun barrel. <clears throat> so uh, there's uh, my favorite Bond and another Bond that my views might be a contrarian on, but I really love him and I don't get why he gets such a negative rap sometimes that is uh, Roger Moore with For Your Eyes Only solid song from Sheena Easton and I uh, really love uh, this poster and everything going on on it showing all the action kind of similar to the one from Honor Majesty Secret Service and um, this really encapsulates the movie before you even watch it and then a comic book poster I got here for the X-Men um, got this one at uh, Outer Limits and uh, just so, I, so I'm going to say it right now, ones like these I got from the poster store, Nerd Emporium. Some of these I got from a different vendor, and there's another Nerd Emporium. <coughs> this other X-Men 2 one I've had for years. It was actually in a spot that I will um, show as uh, we progress. But uh, yeah, I've had this X-Men 2 one here for quite a while, so just wanted to put it in a nice little frame, because for a while it, was, it didn't have a frame like this, so... Anyway, there's X-Men 2, and here is uh, Top Gun, Maverick. Got this when I went to go see the movie with having Maverick and all the other characters like Rooster and Phoenix, Hangman and all them right there. Bob, I also got this on my, uh, my frickin', I got this on my, my uh, Stranger Things vinyl of uh, Hopper. They're the pumpkins from season two. So added that and also in my bathroom right across from my shower <laughs> I got uh, Psycho so yeah there's Norman Bates watching me as I shower so uh, there's an interesting spot but yeah this one's actually relocated I decided to change it out I was initially gonna put it somewhere else but there's no better place to put a Psycho poster than in your freaking bathroom right here <laughs> oh, the dark humor is fucking awesome <laughs> I love it it would definitely make Alfred Hitchcock proud that is for sure. And I know Martin Scorsese is having his little witch hunt against Marvel, but I don't have the heart to get rid of my Taxi Driver or Goodfellas poster. So uh, anyway, here is uh, Taxi Driver, really classic film. You talking to me? No. Are you talking to me? <laughs> so far, the only DC poster I got right now is this Joker poster right here, but I am trying to get a Batman poster to put right next to it. So 
really want a Batman Mask of the Phantasm poster because R.I.P. Kevin Conroy. Um, really, uh, really wish, uh, yeah, I really miss him. And here's also the debut comic where the Joker debuted, that being uh, Batman number one. So uh, onto the poster you see when you walk into my room. Here is Blade Runner, a classic uh, Harrison Ford uh, sci-fi movie that I really love. And um, after, uh, once you get in and you see um, Blade Runner, another classic of uh, Harrison Ford and just classic film overall, that being Star Wars, the original. And I added in another um, Star Wars movie slash Harrison Ford, that being The Empire Strikes Back. So here's, and to complete my Harrison Ford wall is Raiders of the Lost Ark. Really like that, that hands painted style. And um, can't believe that's not even Drew Struzan. Um, this, this is a different artist named Richard Amsel, I believe, and Tom Jung, but uh, nonetheless, really love these posters. They're quite amazing. And then right as you walk in, I also got Avengers Infinity War right here. So um, this little stylized poster of all the major players from the movie. And I also added this from a little coloring book my grandma gave me. Um, not that I'm a color, but I do like this poster here. It has all the Avengers, Thanos, Captain Marvel, basically all the major players in Avengers Endgame. And right on top of it is Avengers Endgame. And then the other Avengers movie I got the poster of, Avengers Age of Ultron. And uh, right next to him is two newly acquired courtesy of Nerd Emporium, that being Iron Man. And then Iron Man 2. Let me see if I can reduce that glare. Ugh. Easier said than done. I think that's the best it's gonna get, but uh, yeah. And also, uh, right uh, next to uh, uh, the other thing too, I like about this poster is it has probably my favorite look of Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow, my love. Her with her long red curly hair, really love that. And then the returning one I've had for years from the friend who uh, gave it to me, that being Iron Man 3. And to finish off my superhero posters is Guardians of the Galaxy. I was gonna buy this at this uh, arcade slash bar I go to a lot called the Bite Me Cake Company. But they wanted it for about two times more of the price, so I said, fuck that, and I got this for probably a fraction of the price. So, really like that deal I got. And this is what I got from that poster vendor on the Shawshank Redemption, my all-time favorite movie right above my head. And right next, up there among my favorite musicals is La La Land. Just ordered the soundtrack on vinyl, so can't wait for that. And still got my Mark Hamill Joker poster. Definitely need to get a Kevin Conroy Batman at some point. But uh, yeah, anyway, and then there's my Secret Wars comic right there. And um, last couple of movie posters is Back to the Future. And then um, after that, uh, my classic Marvel Comics poster. And then after that, it is Pulp Fiction right here. So uh, yeah, there is uh, Pulp Fiction. So I guess onto the action figures and pops and all that stuff. So yeah, onto the pops. I still got the Captain America snowman I've had and my Adam West Batmobile still in its casing. So gonna preserve that for as long as possible. And this um, Five Below exclusive Captain America Infinity Saga poster. So definitely gonna hold on to that and keep that in the best condition I can. And then some newly acquired ones that weren't in the video last time, courtesy of Nerd Emporium, are Army of Darkness. And um, Alfred Hitchcock, my returning Han Solo figure. And uh, also I took out the Iron Man from the box right there, so yeah. And uh, got a Daredevil statue here, really like. That's a comic book Daredevil. Also acquired a Daredevil and Electra action figure, courtesy of Target recently, so that was really nice. And also this Bane figure I got right behind my Batman figures as he's getting ready to break them. And then there's Batman the Animated Series, 
and the Keaton Batmobile. Let me get out of the way because I'm cost casting a shadow. And then I also recently acquired the Ecto-1, courtesy of my friend's dad. And um, now on to the rest of the pops. Got Iron Man and Mysterio, and the light-up Iron Man from Infinity War. Clayface, I recently acquired that um, Wolverine there in front, courtesy of my friend's dad. Got this at Nerd Emporium at the little flea market, the Jean Grey figure. So got most of my female figures all right by each other. New ones here are Miss Marvel and Captain Marvel. And um, really like how I was able to get that and also the comic book, uh, Carol Danvers, Miss Marvel. And all the returning ones from GameStop from before. Red Guardian, Mysterio, my previous Wolverine, Captain America, and Odin. Let me fix Odin's staff. So he should be holding it up high and straight as he is the Allfather. <clears throat> and then Vulture, Hulk, Mandarin, Punisher, Mobius from Loki, and Black Panther. Also got Doctor Strange from Spider-Man No Way Home. Also acquired those three Spider-Man figures from No Way Home. And Loki and Vision right there also. And all my other Spider-Man figures I've had from Iron Spider up to Homecoming Spider-Man to the Far From Home costume, comic book Iron Man. And I decided to cave at Pueblo Comic Con and um, where I also got uh, this uh, Captain Marvel figure. And decided to buy this other Iron Man figure. Really love those accessories, so I decided to cave and buy it. Also got Stan Lee as always. <clears throat> and while I was in Georgia at the Five Below shop, I got this cool Mandalorian figure that uh, is pretty spot on. Though it doesn't have much articulation, I do like the pose you can have with him with his gun out. Still got Luke Skywalker and Mark Hamill Joker next to Batman, Kevin Conroy, R.I.P., Rest in Power, and my Todd McFarlane figure, along with Robin, Batgirl, uh, Harley Quinn, Thanos, Joker, all them returning, and Superman, also from uh, Bubble Comic Con, and all my pops, Captain Hiller, uh, Vanessa Kensington, uh, Joyce Byers, Mike and Eleven, also those plastic uh, Captain Marvel ones I got of Goose, uh, Captain Marvel, and Nick Fury. And also this newly acquired um, Eleven from Stranger Things figure that I just got, so uh, yeah. Now I guess on to all the statues and other stuff um, after I finish off the last batch of figures I got. Also got this Eddie Munson recently, courtesy of my friend's dad that I'm preserving. I guess uh, these are rare and are going up in value. And uh, here is um, Dr. Fate. Another rare figure too because it has the uh, Platinum Edition right there. And another Captain Marvel figure I got of her wearing her bomber jacket. Holding Goose. So uh, yeah really like that and um, now on to the other statues that I recently acquired um, here is Iron Man from Avengers Endgame that I got right here by my posters and um, also got it a comic book slash uh, costume shop this little Black Widow card so all the fallen Avengers are here along with Captain America wielding Mjolnir and Iron Man from Captain America Civil War all right there and uh, one last poster I almost forgot to mention, it came with the puzzle I'm currently working on, which is this one, is Avengers Infinity War. Using this as a guide as I do the puzzle to help me finish it, but I'll definitely hang it soon. So yeah. Anyway, I uh, guess that's all for this uh, video. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.